atoms. In an atom, is the nucleus positively charged or negatively charged? Positively charged. In an atom, are the electrons negatively charged? What are shells in the terms of atoms? Where electrons move around the nucleus in layers. Do electrons make or get rid of bonds? Make bonds. What happens when an atom loses or gains electrons? It charges the atom. What are charged atoms known as? Ions. What happens if a positive meets a negative ion? They are attracted to one another and join together. What is this known as? Ionic bond. What is a covalent bond? Where atoms in a bond share a pair of electrons. Chemical symbols. What is CO2? Carbon dioxide. What is H2? Hydrogen. What is H2O? Water. What is HCl? Hydrochloric acid. What is CO? Carbon monoxide. What is O2? Oxygen. What is Na2CO3? Sodium carbonate. What is H2SO4? Sulfuric acid. Emulsifiers. What are emulsifiers? Ad additives which make oil and water mixed well together. What do additives do? Improve flavour in food. Improve colour in food. Make food last longer. What are emulsions made of? Also droplets of one liquid suspended in another liquid. In an emulsion, what can be used to stop the two liquids from separating? Emulsifiers. What are the molecules in an emulsifier attracted to? A part of the molecules are attracted to oil or fat and the other part are, of molecules are attracted to the water. What is the part that's attracted to water called? Hydrophilic. What is the part that's attracted to oil called? Hydrophobic. Climate change. What are the benefits of cooking food? Better taste, easier to digest, kills off microbes, and makes food edible. Why is cooking an irreversible chemical reaction? 
New substances are made meaning a chemical change has taken place. What is thermal decomposition? When a substance is broken down into simpler substances when heated. How can thermal decompositions be helped? With a catalyst. How can carbon dioxide be detected? Using lime water as the CO2 makes the lime water cloudy. Perfumes. What is used in perfumes? What are esters? Something that has a pleasant smell or flavour. Is cinnamon a natural or manufactured ester? Manufactured. Is apple a natural or manufactured ester? Natural. How can an ester be made? By heating a carboxylic acid with an alcohol. What is this an example of? Esterification. What is usually used? An acid catalyst. What five properties do perfumes need? Easily evaporates, non-toxic, no reaction to water, no irritation to skin, and insoluble in water. Why does perfume need to evaporate easily? So the perfume particles can reach you so you can smell them. Why does perfume need to be non-toxic? So it doesn't poison you. Why does perfume need to not react with water? So it doesn't react with your sweat. Why does perfume need to not be irritating? So it doesn't burn your skin or make consumer uncomfortable. Why does perfume need to be insoluble in water? So it doesn't wash off when you're wet. What is controversial about perfume development? Some tests are tested on animals. What is volatility? How easily a liquid evaporates? What do perfumes need to be quite volatile? So they can evaporate enough for you to smell them. Solutions What is a solution? A mixture of solvent and solute which doesn't separate. What is a solute? The substance being dissolved. What is a solvent? The liquid it's dissolving into. What does soluble mean? It will dissolve. What does insoluble mean? It will not dissolve. What does solubility mean? A measure of how much will dissolve. What reason might two substances not form a solution? The substances are more attracted to themselves than each other. What does the solubility of a solution The solvent used. Paint and pigments. 
What does paint usually contain? Solvent, binding medium, and pigment. What do pigments do? Give paints their color. What does the binding medium do? It's the liquid that carries the pigment bits and holds them together. What happens when the binding medium goes solid? It sticks the pigment to the surface you've painted. What does the solvent do? Fins the paint making it easier to spread. What is a colloid? Tiny particles of one kind of stuff dispersed on another kind of stuff. They are mixed but not dissolved. Why do colloids not separate out? The particles are so small they don't settle out at the bottom. Are illusion paints water based or oil based? Water based. What is the solvent used in emulsion paints? Water. What is the binding medium used in emulsion paints? An acrylic or vinyl acetate polymer. What happens when the solvent evaporates? The water-based emulsion dries leaving behind the binder and pigment as a thin solid film. What are the benefits of emulsion paints? They are fast drying. They don't produce harmful fumes. Are gloss paints water-based or oil-based? Oil-based. What is the solvent used in gloss paint? Organic compounds that will dissolve in oil. What is the binding medium used in gloss paint? Oil. How do oil paints dry? The solvent evaporates, then the oil is oxidized by oxygen in the air before turning solid. What are the benefits of oil paints? Glossy, waterproof and hard wearing. What are the disadvantages of oil paints? They are slow drying, they produce harmful fumes. Special pigments. What are the thermochromic pigments? Pigments that change colour or become transparent when heated or cooled. Why are thermochromic pigments used to make thermometers? Different pigments change colour at different temperatures, therefore a mixture of them can be used to make a colour-coded temperature scale. What other uses are there for thermochromic pigments? Fancy electric kettles, baby products, drinking mugs, and mood rings. What are phosphorescent pigments? Pigments that absorb light and store energy in their molecules. What does this mean? It glows in the dark. What uses are there for Phosphorescent pigments, glow in the dark toys, traffic signs, watches and clocks, polymers. What is polymerization? When lots of small molecules called monomers join together. What does it usually need? High pressure and a catalyst. How are polymers formed? By polymerization. 
What is a plastic money mess made of? Alkenes. What are addition polymers made from? Unsaturated monomers. What kind of bond does the monomers making an addition polymer have? Double covalent bonds. What are unsaturated compounds? Molecules with at least one double covalent bond between carbon atoms. What are saturated compounds? Molecules with no double bonds between carbon atoms. What is addition polymerization? When lots of unsaturated monomer molecules open up their double bonds and join together to form polymer chains. What happens if the plastic is made of long chains that are held together by weak intermolecular forces? The chains will be able to slide over each other. What does this mean? Stretches easily and has a low melting point. What happens if the plastic has stronger bond between the polymer chains? The cross links hold the chains firmly together. What does this mean? High melting point, rigid, not stretchable. What use is there for strong rigid polymers? Plastic milk bottles. What use is there for light stretchable polymers? Plastic bags. What use is there for rigid PVC? Piping and window frames. What use is there for stretchy PVC? Synthetic leather. What use is there for polystyrene foam? Packaging. What are the benefits of coating clothes in polyethylene? Tough, hard wearing, and waterproof. What are the disadvantages of coating clothes in polyurethane? Water vapor doesn't pass through it. What product mixes the useful properties of nylon polyurethane so that the product is waterproof and releases sweat out of the shoe? Gore-Tex. What are the problems with non-biodegradable plastics? They don't rust, hard to get rid of, burning plastic releases toxic gases. Hydrocarbons, alkanes. What is a hydrocarbon? Any compound formed from only carbon and hydrogen atoms. How are covalent bonds formed in a hydrocarbon? When atoms share electrons. What happens to both atoms? They get a full outer shell. What does each covalent bond provide? One extra shared electron for each atom. What does each atom need to make? Enough covalent bonds to fill up its shell. How many bonds does a carbon atom need? Four. How many bonds does a hydrocarbon atom need? One. What kind of bond do alkanes have? Single covalent bonds between their carbon atoms as alkanes are saturated compounds. 
How can you tell the difference between the alkane and alkene? By adding it to bromine water, an alkane won't decolorize and the alkane will. Why won't alkanes form polymers? They have no double bonds to open up. How are single covalent bonds formed? When two atoms share a pair of electrons, so both can have a full outer shell. How are double covalent bonds formed? When two atoms share two pairs of electrons instead of just one pair. How many double bonds do al al alkenes have between carbon atoms? One or more. How are alkenes more reactive than alkenes? Their double bonds can open up and join onto things. What happens to bromine water if there are any double bonds around? They'll react with the bromine, decolorizing it. Crude oil. How is crude oil formed? High temperatures and pressure over millions of years turn fossil fuels into crude oil. How are the compounds in crude oil separated? By fractional distillation. What is the first step of the process? Oil is heated until most of it has turned to gas. What then happens to the gases? They enter the fractionating column. What is the liquid left over and where does it go? The bitumen is drained off at the bottom. What is the temperature gradient of the column? Hot at the bottom and cooler as it goes up. What happens to the longer hydrocarbons? They turn to liquids and drain out of the column earlier on when they're near the bottom. What happens to the shorter hydrocarbons? They turn to liquids and drain out of the column later on when near the top of the column where it's cooler. What do you end up with? Crude oil mixture separated into different fraction. Hydrocarbon bonds. What happens as the size of the hydrocarbon molecule increases? The boiling point increases, it gets less flammable and gets more vicious, it also gets less volatile. What are the two important types of bonds in crude oil? The strong covalent bonds between the carbons and hydrocarbons within each carbon molecule. The intermolecular forces of attraction between different hydrocarbon molecules in a mixture. What happens to the molecules when crude oil mixture is heated? The molecules are supplied with extra energy, making them move more. What happens when a molecule has enough energy to overcome the intermolecular force? It turns to a gas. Why do the covalent bonds holding each molecule together not break? Because they are stronger than the intermolecular forces. Why do intermolecular forces of attraction break a lot more easily in small molecules rather than bigger molecules? They are much stronger between big molecules than they are between small molecules. Do big molecules have higher or lower boiling points than smaller molecules? Higher boiling points. Cracking. What is cracking? 
splitting up long chain hydrocarbons. What does cracking do to long alkane molecules? It turns out to swallow alkane and alkane molecules. What is thermal composition? When one substance breaks down into at least two new ones when you heat it. What does this mean in terms of bonds? Breaking strong covalent bonds. What is required? Lots of heat and a catalyst. What products can be made from cracking molecules of fractional distillation? Petrol and kerosene. How are vaporized hydrocarbons passed? Over powdered catalyst at about 400 degrees to 700 degrees Celsius. What are the benefits of cracking? makes extra fuel. Fossil fuel uses. What does fossil fuels provide? Energy for electricity, heating, etc. and fuel for transport. What's the problem with relying on fossil fuels for energy? They are non-renewable, meaning will run out eventually. What are some alternative energy sources? Nuclear energy, solar energy and wind energy. What are some political problems with oil? The price of oil will rise, making plastics and oils more expensive. Also, countries with the most oil and natural gas will have the power over other countries. What are some environmental problems with oil? Oil spillages causes pollution in the sea. Oil covers seabirds' feathers, meaning they can't fly. Detergents used to clean up oil slicks can be toxic to animals. What is there to consider when choosing the best fuel? Energy value, availability, storage, cost, toxicity, ease of use, and pollution. Burning fuels. What is a fuel? A substance that reacts with oxygen to release useful energy. What is the equation for complete combustion? Hydrocarbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide plus water and brackets energy. What is the equation for incomplete combustion? Hydrocarbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide, water, carbon and carbon monoxide. What are the advantages of complete combustion? Does not produce poisonous gas, produces carbon dioxide, more energy than incomplete. What are the disadvantages of incomplete combustion? Makes poisonous gas, produces carbon monoxide. Evolution of the atmosphere. Phase 1. What was Earth's surface originally like? Molten. What does this mean for the atmosphere? It boiled away. When was a thin crust formed? After millions of years when the surface eventually cooled. As volcanoes kept erupting, what gases were released from the inside? Carbon dioxide, steam, ammonia. What happened when things eventually settled down? The atmosphere was mainly water vapour and CO2. 
there was little oxygen. What did the condensation of water vapour form? The oceans. Phase 2 What happened to the CO2? Most dissolved into oceans. What evolved over most of the earth? Green plants. They replaced CO2 with O2. Where did much of the CO2 get locked up in? Fossil fuels and sedimentary rocks. How was nitrogen gas put into the atmosphere? Formed by ammonia reacting with oxygen, released by denitrifying bacteria. Phase 3 What killed some early organisms? Build up of oxygen in atmosphere. What did this allow? Evolution of more complex organisms, including humans. What did the oxygen create? The ozone layer. What did this block? Harmful rays from the sun. Today. What percentage of the atmosphere is nitrogen? 78%. What percentage of the atmosphere is oxygen? 21% Carbon cycle What adds carbon to the air and removes oxygen? Respiration of plants and animals, combustion of plants and animals and decay of plants and animals what adds oxygen to the air and removes carbon? Photosynthesis. What human factors increase carbon dioxide? Respiration, energy consumption and deforestation. Air pollution and acid rain. What are the main harmful gases released from by fossil fuels? Sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides. What happens when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide mix with clouds? They form dilute sulfuric acid and dilute nitric acid. What is it known as when it falls? Acid rain. What does acid rain damage slash kill? Kills fish, kills trees, damages limestone buildings, corrodes metal. What is photochemical smog? Air pollution caused by sunlight acting on oxides of nitrogen. When these oxides combine with oxygen, what do they produce? What issue can this cause for humans? Breathing difficulties, headaches, tiredness. What do catalysts converters do on motor vehicles? Reduce the amount of carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide getting into the atmosphere.